We take a look at the impact of this pandemic each day. It is our job to ask questions of leadership on behalf of you, the taxpayer, and provide the most accurate information in context for you. When we can't do that, it's our responsibility to let you know why. Tonight's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Madison Carter has been covering Erie County for us, and she shows us how the county has responded to concerns over our accessibility to leadership over the past couple of weeks. March 4th, the first news conference took place in the Rath Building downtown to update the public on the county's response to COVID-19. Ten days later, the county asked news outlets to limit the number of reporters in the room for social distancing purposes. March 17th was the last time reporters were face to face with county leadership. So we're probably going to be the last uh, live press conference with media in the room. We're gonna the next day, March 18th, a single camera was set up and reporters had to call in with questions. And now we'll reopen it back up to any media who may have questions of myself or of Jessica. Uh, Madison Carter from Channel 7, are you still there? By March 23rd, we were told only one reporter could be on that call. The next day, we could not call in at all. Questions had to be submitted at least 30 minutes before the update began to stream only on Facebook. St. Bonaventure journalism professor Denny Wilkins says he's troubled with the county's response. Well, first of all, it's absurd. I mean, surely you should be able to go into a press conference, hear what officials have to say on the topic at hand, and then ask questions to ask to be forced to submit questions before you heard what they're going to talk about is putting the cart before the horse. They are not exposing themselves to questions they might not want to be asked by journalists. And I think that's wrong. Peter Anderson, press secretary for the county executive, responded to her concerns, saying Facebook Live is being used to get input directly from the public who, quote, ask very different questions than the media does. The question is, can you personally recommend to someone in their 50s one classic feel-good movie to watch and one good book to watch? He went on to say the response has been great and residents appreciate equal access to ask questions. We asked why the governor and the president could make accommodations for media, and we're told the county does not have a big enough space to distance reporters. In addition, Anderson said the county executive and health commissioner are very busy. But they're kind of forgetting the fact that the voters who put them in office, the journalists responsible for holding them accountable, they're busy in the midst of a crisis when events are moving too fast. Tuesday afternoon, the county executive responded to our concerns directly. He agreed to change the format of his daily briefings. To our friends in the media, I know some of you are un not understanding why you can't have complete access to us every hour of the day. That's just not going to happen, uh, though we will go back to a traditional uh, conference call with the phone in for the media tomorrow. Madison Carter, 7 Eyewitness News.